Morning. Good morning. Let's get you caught up on your headlines. New this morning, a man is behind bars after an alert citizen saw him chugging the door handle of her car in the middle of the night. It happened on Sheffield Lane just after 2 a.m. this morning. The resident was able to give a detailed description of the man prowling outside thanks to a security camera. 32 year old Alexander Artishuk of Rockland was found within minutes in the area. He was in possession of stolen items and heroin was found in his truck. FBI Director Christopher Wray is under fire for his agency's handling of suspected Florida shooter Nicholas Cruz. The FBI revealed Friday it did not investigate a warning that Cruz may have been plotting the attack that killed 17 people. Manmel Barakas is outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School with the latest. Good morning. At a news conference yesterday, the FBI apologized for any additional pain. The revelation of a missed tip may cause the families of the 17 people who were murdered here at Stoneman Douglas High School. This community wants to know why a call to a tip line providing information about the suspect, Nicholas Cruz, was not investigated. The caller expressed concern that Cruz could attack a school. The agency was already facing criticism for not being able to trace the origin of a YouTube comment posted by a user named Nick. Nicholas Cruz that said, I'm going to be a professional school shooter. The president and first lady arrived here last night. President Trump praised first responders and visited with doctors and shooting victims here in Broward County. While Nicholas Cruz faces 17 counts of premeditated murder, his defense attorneys are reportedly planning to offer a guilty plea to avoid the possibility of a death sentence. Going forward, no student will ever step foot inside the building behind me where the shooting happened. School officials say it will eventually be torn down, a memorial likely taking its place. And in other news, Immigration and Customs Enforcement is stepping up its efforts to crack down on employers hiring illegal workers in California. But some employers say it's bad for business. One Fresno area nut company owner says his company is currently being audited by ICE. And 10 years ago, he says the same thing happened, forcing him to let go of 70% of the workforce, costing the business about $2 million. He said, oh, you think it's okay to hire illegals? I said, I've got a person with three American-born children, U.S. citizens, and I have to fire both their parents, both of them. California Attorney General Xavier Becerra says under state law, employers cannot voluntarily grant ICE agents access to non-public areas of the work site, and they can't give access to private employee records. We're getting a look at new drawings of the Powerhouse Science Center planned for Sacramento. SMUD will pay $7 million for naming rights. The new drawings were part of the presentation given to SMUD's board of directors. The sketches show how a modern building and planetarium will connect to the historic PG&E power plant along the Sacramento River. Construction is expected to begin in early summer with the museum opening in 2020. And the Crocker Art Museum now owns a painting by the same celebrated artist who created former President Barack Obama's official portrait. A painting by Kahinde Wiley called Portrait of Simon George II is now hanging in the Crocker, part of an exhibit celebrating Black History Month. On Wednesday, Wiley's portrait of Barack Obama was unveiled in Washington, D.C. at the National Portrait Gallery. Wiley is the first African American to paint an official presidential portrait. Some stunning golden flowers can be found in Davis, and they're drought-proof. Acacias are growing in the UC Davis Arboretum, which experts say may signal an early spring. These flowers can survive harsh heat and cold, and they only need watering once a month. Around 50 species of frost-resilient acacias were chosen by the Arboretum. And we're expecting to have beautiful weather today. Here's Dave Bender with your forecast. Good Saturday morning.